Hi, welcome. My name is Marigachi and I will be doing this full look for my back to school makeup look. So if you would like to know how I did this step by step, feel free to watch. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and I'll keep the content coming. I like moisturizing before applying my makeup. I use Vaseline for my lips to make sure they stay soft. I use Oil of Olay Micro Sculpting Serum Fragrance Free for my sensitive skin. I use Maybelline Line Stiletto, which I've been using for nine years now. It's really good. They have black is black, black, and brown. It's really precise and sleek. I really enjoy these Maybelline Fit Me Sticks. They're really cute and convenient. I use them for concealer and this as well, the e.l.f. concealer, to kind of pack on, you know, depending how harsh it is. But I blend them. I use them as a foundation. I use the Fit Me powder to kind of veil it, as well as this palette for my eyes. So with one of my Fit Me sticks, I concealed the lid of my eye and I'm now blending it in with one of my foundation brushes to kind of give it a nice brighter, more vibrant look to also help blend the eyeshadow. As well. And honestly, this is me doing it all cool, calm, and collected. Oh, and then you apply on the eye. But my days aren't really like that, you know? Like, it doesn't matter how productive or how much I organize when it comes down to the actual time before me leaving and all that I'm not like this like my life is an actual five minute challenge so I'm not as cool kind of as I I feel like I try to tell myself not to do eyeshadow at all before class especially my 9 a.m. class like girl you're bugging you will go down this never-ending hole you will be here all day because you can never really finish an eyeshadow there's always something that could be done and it's very dangerous to do especially if you're in a rush so most often times like I'll give another one for how I, like I'll actually do a five minute challenge so I can show you the realistics of it and how really all it is is like some mascara, some liner, the brush of my brows and some lip gloss, like that's about it, and conceal the eyes so I at least look as awake as I want to feel, you know? Oh, this is blending out really nice. And... For now, I'm gonna go with this. It's looking good, looking good. I'm just blending it a little more. Same palette, this time I'm gonna use this rose gold color on my brow bone to kind of wick it up and blend it out. Look at that. Oh. This is a very dangerous path to take. <laughs> you never know, like there's so much more you can do. You can just keep going and keep going and keep blending and keep, but it's like, I'm gonna be late. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Maybelline stick that I've been using to conceal and I'm going to conceal under the eye so I can kind of, you know, disguise these little tired bags I got going on here, but I just apply a little bit, and I normally use a brush from Amazon that I'll link below, but the one, this one, is the e.l.f. foundation brush, and it's a little stiffer, and it's a little better for, like, packing on over the lines as opposed to really blending it out, like, it's really hard. So this is the Amazon brush that I'm gonna be using now, so you can see the difference. You can see it blends out more, the brush is actually a little softer, so it bends a little easier and gets really in those creases, which is great. My favorite blending brush is a Mikasa. Uh -huh. And it's so cute and it's so soft. 
And what I really love about it is that it's so easy to maintain hygiene wise. Like, it's so easy to clean. There's some brushes that just don't dry. I could have sworn I washed this so long ago. Why was it still? Damn. This one, it dries nice. It blends. Look at this. Like, those lines are just gone. Baby. Uh. Oh, this one's so good. I believe there are cans of base brand that I am not mistaken. This is always cool. Flashback Mary layer on, which is what I want. I like to lay down the nice brightness because I want my skin to be, you know, ping, ping, ping. And besides, because the real reason I do it is because my concealer is the same, not concealer, um, contour is the same exact color as the blending stick. So I just wait till I contour and then I blend all that together. Okay, with this same blending brush, I'm going to take my powder again, and I'm going to, I'm going to do your own kickback. Swipe it up. Get under here. Oh, yeah. Because you don't want those creases. Lift these bags up. <laughs> Okay, so same powder, different brush. I have a wet and wild little blush brush. And this is what I use to veil, which is basically light the cover over where everything is. And what I love about it is that it looks better the longer you have it on. Like the more it oxidizes into your skin and the more you go through your day, just it looks so radiant and just gives you such a natural glow. And it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Like my skin looks so healthy. And I'm shocked because all these years I've not been doing makeup because I'm thinking that like my skin would immediately turn to like reptile skin as soon as it touches my face. And look, here we are. Dusting all over my face and letting it last. And having the right product to take it off. And actually, you know, keeping up with the face washing and everything like that. Just can't be alright. You know, tried with other products because I'm so scared. <laughs> but um, it definitely works. Okay, so once that is done, I give my brows a nice brush to see where we're at. I'm actually growing my eyebrows in because sometimes I like them thin, sometimes I like them full. This summer has been a thin summer, so I'm kind of growing them back now. 
I'm trying to lift them up a little bit, so that's a process. But for now, I'm gonna be doing my mess. I almost never do my bottom brow line. Brow. Lash line. Because I feel like it makes me look like a raccoon by the end of the day. But look how cute. Hmm. But these are looking pretty good. This is, what is this? The Remel London Scandal Curve Alert Mascara. And it's my go-to. Like, this is my look to go get a mascara. So it's like, I can't just use a new one. But aside stabbing myself in the eye, looks pretty good. Very baby doll. Anybody got time to be doing this line of 50 billion times? But I mean, I go over it twice anyways to get this. Don't, 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 don't. I'm doing this like in the video. Not even in the video. Good for me. Here. Now, I don't normally even take the wing that far. I normally just do this, especially with my day swipe it across and let it like slide down on the lash line and just you know take it from there stop like right here and give it like a little wing up and then I re-dip it and then so it doesn't dry out oh okay it's not that bad I just need to thicken this up here because that always happens in school like when you're trying to rush and just do a quick little liner it's like oh no this looks like a clumpy mess and I'm here for it because it's very realistic this is how my makeup looks when I'm rushing it never looks flawless it's always the okay so for these I just get a little q-tip and just boop, boop, flake it off Okay. Highlighter, which is really just a eyeshadow that I use as a highlighter because it's really good. Again, same palette, but this time I just dunk in the gold and a little bit of the rose gold. Just do a little, mostly gold. Last step is to go back with the Fit Me powder and I'm gonna veil again. I'm kinda toned down. What's going on over here? So just give it a little. Because I want, you know, to be rosy. Aw, <laughs> I look like a completely different person when I try. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys like this look. This is my day-to-day go-to-school look. I have more videos to come, so make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and I will have more content to come. Thanks!